What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Parcel Dice, and I'm bringing another episode of Pokemon Reborn. In the last episode, we, um... What was all the stuff that we did last episode? I think we did a little bit of Team Meteor stuff, and we beat CL in the battle. So now we have the ability to use Fly and go back to Reborn City. So that's probably where we're heading right now. Let's see. I think I'm gonna keep Iceman in the party. Um, I'll probably put Tajia back in the box. Let's get the EXP share off of you. Let's see if there's someone else that I would um, like to have trained up. Hmm. There's Gil. Dark. Dark poison. Dark poison. Their mild nature, which I guess can play a factor if we want it to. Undo your lax nature. Huh, that's not bad. Um, let's see, do I need physical attackers? I have a good mix of the two. But you know what? I've never used a Skun Tank before. This will be a, a good opportunity to use a different Pokemon than I would normally use. But, now that I think about it, this is... Does it, is it marked as mine? Or oh, Cory's? Oh, okay. If it's marked as Cory's, that gives me even more experience. Yes, all right, cool. There we go. I would not say I miss them, uncouth and hapless as they both may be. I don't need to say that I missed him for everyone to know. Perhaps I should work on my acting after all. Ah, so it's doing that thing where it's uh, updating all the new, um, all the new stuff. So it doesn't just happen automatically. Alright. There's a couple of things I want to do first. The first is to go to Spinal Town. Yeah. 
because I can revive those fossils. Let's see. It's not like I plan on using them immediately. Not until I grind them. But I think, if I recall, I have like two fossils. takes a little longer than I expected. I, th I thought so. save the game real quick. I'm going to close it and open it right back up. See if that might help the issue. I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Don't know where that all that was all about, but um, the issue doesn't seem to be happening anymore. For some reason, it had it, had it seemed like that I was pressing the right key like the entire time.
That's good for that. Just a YouTuber that I uh, tend to watch. Let's use a cover fossil. I wonder if going all the way here will. Oh, I think about it. I probably don't need to even. I probably didn't even need to put those Pokemon in my box. It'll probably go straight into the fossil. Will probably go straight into my box, but you know, just in case. Yeah, I got the perfect name for it. <laughs> it's calm nature. Wow. And it has defeated us, as I thought. <sighs> calm nature out of all natures. As if it wasn't bad enough when it ha has that ability. I wonder if it has another ability. Does it only have defeatist? Back 
sticky. Let's bring back Sherry. Satisfied. Now we can go to Reborn region. Heard up. There it is. Oh. And things have changed since the last time. And you know, their dialogue also changes. Trainer, would you like to hear something fascinating? Sure. For a long time, I've been researching hidden abilities. In most regions, it's very rare that Pokemon in the wild have different abilities, but a reborn is almost commonplace. I wanted to know, you, I wanted to know why. The truth is, I still haven't found an answer. For a while, my hypothesis was that pollution and radiation from a reborn city was prompting rogue genetic mutations in Pokemon of all kinds. This renovation project provided the perfect chance to test this. After all, we've closed most of the wasteful factories and cleaned up our act significantly. But by now, Reborn's procedures only produces only a small bit more pollution than any other major city. If my theory were, were correct, then we should have seen a decline in the number of Pokemon with alternate abilities and coloration. But surprisingly, nothing with regards to that has changed. Even among new, more Pokemon, the difference in mutations between then and now is statistically insignificant. So I must find a, a new hypothesis. Could past radiation produce lingering epi epigenic changes? Could there be some other energy source hidden near the city? Maybe it could even be the work of a legendary Pokemon, Arceus or Rayquaza, for instance. No matter the case, I will definitely find the answer one day. Man, the squad and I used to hang out here all the time when we were playing the streets. But they all got on the city betterment bullshit and ditched. Fuck that shit, bruh. I'm gonna kick it right here in my own damn self. <laughs> Alright, In order to reach field research field effects more thoroughly, it's important to have all the help we can get. By spreading the public version of our data, we're more likely to receive feedback and corrections for future versions. Thank you for visiting using the app. Oh, Shen. So Julian Fluidia found you after all. I'm glad, and your timing is perfect. One second, please. Sorry, as I was about to say, please inform Bennett that we accept. He certainly did fa famously during the trial battle, but something feels weird about the situation. Maybe I've just hung up on Laura's resignation. Keep that in mind. Keep that what she said in mind. Laura resigned. But before, uh, uh, way back, you probably don't even remember this. It was said that Laura got fired. So keep that in mind when you think when you, uh, for the future episodes, because I, th I think um, L may be sticking his nose into 
um, the business of some of my friends. But the letter she sent was handwritten, signed, and unquestionably hers. Hmm. Well, whatever. You can take care of the rest for me, right? Did you get his types? Yes, I'll register and notify him. Thank you. Alright, I got a couple of other things to take care of, but I could use your help. The most important thing is... Well, before I explain, I should bring everyone here. This might take all of us. Adrian, Victoria, and DJ Arclight are taking care of various things around the city. I'm not exactly sure where they are right now, but you know them there, right? You could probably guess where to start. Just tell them to come back here when you find them. I'll be waiting. Hello there. I'm here to answer any questions you might have about the future of the Reborn City Restoration Project. You've come a long way in a short period of time. For this, we are endlessly thankful for the help of all of our volunteers. That said, there's still much to do. Would you like to hear about our upcoming plans? Sure. Here are some of the things we'll be looking at doing in the near future. First, we have to look some final renovations renovations to finish up in the barrel on barrel wall then we can finally prepare to reopen Grandview Grandview station Blech. after that we have several potential short-term projects awaiting funding we'd like to focus on rebuilding the slums area from the ground up our plan is to convert this area into a low-income housing district and resource center with community gardening and job finding resources second we'll look at reinforcing underground structures and rebuilding and if an efficient intercity subway system. Finally, we'll be restarting the Reborn Pokemon Re reintroduction, reintroduction Project with a brand new fully furnished facility on Azarin Island. If you wish to donate to the city restoration, please talk to the con construction manager here. We are ecstatic to receive any amount of support. We're still finishing up some loose ends on the barrel wall repair project, so hang tight. Donations and reconstructions will be available again soon. We value your interest in helping Reborn City, so we hope you check back shortly. Okay. So that will be at a later uh, point in time in the story. So Adrian, Victoria, and DJ Arclight. Yeah, they'll be uh, pretty easy to find. Um, yeah, plus I remember where to find them, so... Adrian is in the Core Ward. I made the right choice choosing to move here when they were still rebuilding it. I was in barrel all my life before that went high wire, but this is way more my speed. Oh, nice, nice. Alright, let's talk to Adrian now. Okay, document the design maintenance procedures and draft a schedule for employees to check it. Public safety regulations, right? Get it online, print flyers, and have one of the volunteers post ordinances through throughout the city. Um, you are Steinsman, Crystal Ship Complex, 2C. Am I remember great? Right? Yes, uh, we're still having the issue with the electricity. What? Really? Someone was supposed to get to by that, by for that on Tuesday. Um, nobody showed up. Gracious. Okay, I am so sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you for telling me. I know it must have been a huge letdown to deal with that for so long. You finished with the placing on Kingsbury? Yes. Everything should be ship-shaped up there now. You're an angel. C 
Could you escort Mrs. Steinsman here to Mr. Bleh, Mr. Feinsilver at the Neo Circuit Power Plant? He's filling in for Julia at the moment and should be able to help her. There's her signature. Did you need anything else? That's all. I'll get back, I'll get this back to the office right away. Thank you, all of you, for your hard work. Please come find me if you have any problems. Deep breath. Everything is wonderful. My apologies for making you wait, Shen. I hope you've been well. I understand you've been gone for a while, but look. This whole place. This is a city that I can be proud of. Even if it fell apart before, the pieces were always there. It just took someone to put them back together. With the help of the local gym leaders, students from Apophil and Onyx, and more volunteers than I could help have ever hoped for, I think we really made a miracle happen here. It was daunting. No, in the beginning, I don't almost say nightmarish. But one doesn't make this happen with announcements and inspirational speeches alone. I started one house at a time, taking personal interest in each crack and story within its walls, and from teaching others to do the same in return. Everything has erupted in outwards into some kind of dream, but we're not done yet. Not even close. That's enough, though. You came to see me for a reason, I assume. I'm Miss Colifoli. Understood. Please go on ahead. I have a couple more things to finish, but I'll be right there. Alright. Next up is DJ Arclight. He's in the North of City Award. Oh, speaking of Onyx Board. Everyone keeps talking about sh some Shen. What did they do to get so popular all of a sudden? What about me? you we fought before you got super popular remember ah that's so cool can I help you in your grand quest to restore the region I mean do you need a sidekick or oh take this now you are the real MVP forgive me that yay I'm helping the great Shen <laughs> the great Shen hey you I remember you we're gonna have a rematch someday. I'll catch up to you, mark my words. Just probably not when I'm still in school. These turn projects are killing me. It's just interesting to see the dialogue change. Gotta say, I don't feel half as bad about losing to you before after seeing your reputation coming around in these parts. Some of them won't admit because they've stuck in the past, but everyone here knows about you. Keep saying you're the one saving Reborn and whatnot. Huh. Not to mention walloping Fern's ass. <laughs> you damn right. Headmaster Florian should be back soon, yes? Although her administrative duties at the school have been covered, the city council is waiting up several updates for her. She volunteers to undertake the lion's share of resources management and accounting to make sure everyone working in the city had what they needed. Between that and then leading students at community service, she has been an invaluable asset. But without those reports, many of our work groups won't know how far we can proceed within a current budget. Hmm, nothing to do but wait, I suppose. Hey, have you heard about that trainer? They're all the rage lately. They say a young trainer named Shen has been sweeping through a war and solving problems everywhere. Suppose they're... Suppose they're handsome like a prince, but elegant like a queen. <laughs> Indiscriminate gender. And they have and they have five hundred Pokemon. All at max level. Okay, now you're just being exaggerated. And some even say they have telekinetic powers. I'm sure I'd like to meet that person someday. Yeah, me too. I'll tell you what, this school has been like three times better just for friend alone they Now that he and his cronies are pushing everyone around with their stupid popularity gimmick. The atmosphere is so much better. Hey, wow! You're the trainer who swept Fern out before, right? And fought to save the city. But let's be honest, Fern's more of the problem. <laughs> ah, 
Ah, the seeds. Stupid arcades. I don't care. I don't care if and when they back up. I'm using this to quit once and for all. Haven't I seen you around here before? You must be... That's right, you're a new student, aren't you? Hey, you're kinda cute. If you wanna hang out, call me. <laughs> okay. Um, you're that person all the other students have been talking about, aren't you? Could I maybe, may, um, could I get your autograph? <laughs> you are that shit, aren't you? You're quite a com common distraction for my students. Some of them follow you like tablets. Hey, I was thinking, maybe I could challenge Florian soon. I could get a special grade if I beat her. Hmm. Sorry, the gym is closed while Miss Florian is away. I was specifically asked not to let anyone in until she gets back, which frankly is sort of unfortunate. There was a lot I wanted to do. I think I was going to confess before all of this happened. This sucks. Hey, would you be willing to do me a favor? Here, take this and deliver it with a note for me. I spent all night making it. It'll definitely win them over. My crush usually hangs out around the third floor. Please convey my feelings for me. Okay. The third floor? I, I had a feeling um there was something I was missing. And I think... I think I remember that guy who was, like, freaking out. The third floor. I'm guessing the third floor is up here, right? Huh? Oh! Huh? What's this? This is from that girl? I see. I had no idea she felt this way. Well, that's flattering, but... I guess I'll have to go down and be straight with her later. Oh. Maybe that's a poor choice of words? Anyway, you should hang on to the chocolate. It would be rude if I ate it and then left, let her down. Hmm. So was this person? Given it to them yet? What did she say? Oh. Oh. Then that night we spent together on Barrel Bridge, was that really nothing to her? I thought for sure. Oh, but I, o I always do this. I always overthink things. Why do I always have to fall in love with my friends just over a few precious moments? Forget it. It's over now. I'm sorry you had to hear all my whining and poor expectations. Look, I just want to let it go. I was going to give her a present later. I went through a lot of trouble getting it, but I don't think I can do that now. So just take this away from me. It was her favorite Pokemon, but you could just call it my apology. I have a gym to guard. That's all I ever get, probably. Incinium Z? No, really, I'm fine. So it's for Incineroar. Okay. Well, ain't that sad. 
I wasn't expecting all of that. Um, we can make this a little bit longer. I was just interested in um, interacting with these guys because, yeah, one one is because of that, what I just did. Two is because it's just interesting to hearing everyone call me the hero Shen. Some of the kids have been talking about you quite a lot, haven't they? Saying you're the savior of Reborn or whatever. I guess that makes you a celebrity or something. I will go to that mall, Obsidian Mall, in the next episode. For now, let's go to Jasper Ward, or is it Paradox? Or is it Barrel? I think it's between Jasper and Barrel. I'm going to that little... Man, this place has changed too. I think Victoria is here. Yep. Oh, Shen, are you really back? I heard a lot. I heard about a lot of things happening up in Carnelia, and I was really worried. But of course, you're just fine. You always are, right? We always are. I was just saying hello. It's been a while. And did you find the piece you were looking for? I think this f f city finally has. I wish I could say the same. Trying to take over the academy has been... Well, they're not shoes I'm capable of filling. It's never going to be the same without her. But then it's thanks to her sacrifice that it even still exists. So I've been thinking, how can the place continue to grow? It turns out the answer wasn't to tear ourselves away from a born city like we did before, but to give ourselves to it. Many of our students have been very involved in helping bring everything together here. But that's just the answer I found. If she were still here, well, if she were still in charge, I think her answer would have been different. I'm sorry. I'm just going off about things like always. So Ami is looking for me? I wonder if she has another project for the students. Alright, I'll go meet her soon. Thank you for telling me. For now, I just want another moment here. Um, Shen? Well... It's good to see you again. Hmm. Gotta hand it to them. That Adrian character really knows how to take a mess and fix it into something great. Before everything happened, Barrel used to just be a pile of houses. It takes some real creativity to see a mangle of rubble and roots and say, This should be a park! <laughs> Magical seed. Nice, nice. Gooey mulch. Ah, the mulch. Um, that's for uh, a little side quest. If we leave it in the hands of the young, the world is going to be just fine, isn't it? I could sit here and stare at the water with you until we wither away. We've been so lonely after our daughter took off to go earn her place in the world. It's normal for parents after the kids leave the nest, I think. Of course I'm happy she's off living her life. It's just... She changed so drastically in a short period of time. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought drugs were involved. But she always came up totally clean. Strange, children could be. Hello, trainer. Chandra to the gym league, are you? You know, our daughter's a gym leader. Actually, she's a lot of things. Computer technician, lion tamer at a gate circus... We are so proud of her. She's a real peach. I'm sure you'd absolutely love her. <laughs> Debatable between some people. Guess the registered veg 
visitors. Only beyond this lobby, please. Excuse me. Guests and registered visitors are only beyond the lobby, please. I've been through some kind of mess in this in the time that I couldn't stay here. Listen, kid. If you ever offer someone to crash your place, make sure you don't attach drinks to it. That's all I'm gonna say. Hmm. Being back after all this time feels weird. After my house was destroyed, I decided to leave on a journey to become a Pokemon trainer. Now that I can go back to my old life, yeah, like hell I would. Poison gem. Alright, that's enough uh, discovering for now. Let's find the last person in the Northrop City Award. That's Onyx. I guess we could just go to the city Award and just go up from there. Look how look how much this place has changed. Ah, there he is. By the way, it is... Which gang did I go with? The Aqua Gang or the Magma Gang? I don't even remember. Magical suit. Let's just talk to DJ Arclight and then we could call this an episode. Yo, Shen. How you doing? I'm gonna send you to get me? Right. I think I got a pretty good idea of what this is about. I ended up being getting pretty involved in the city's business after Adrian asked me to throw a tag out for Zem on the broadcast. We were able to recruit a lot of volunteers that way, though some of them just wanted to meet me. That was a mess. Uh, anyway, I, recall, I recently got a call and tip from a listener about, well, it seems like it's Team Meteor again. Big shock, I know. Alright, I'll go on ahead. Gotta clear out the area first. Tell Ami that I'll be waiting at the meeting place. Alright. Let's set up this place because I think they were looking. There was a time they were looking for. Ah, yes, okay. Oh, you are not here to do the eating now? Then maybe I can ask something of you. You look. Our delivering boy is doing the sickness today, and so we are lowering surprise. If you are having time, I would be much obliging to, for you to collect some grocery items and us. You could do the talking to my assistant chef for the full list of items to recover. If you could do, if you can do this, doing this thing for us, we will give you a sharing of the food on the house. All right, honey, tiny mushroom, ball mushroom, slow poke tail, white herb stick, sweetheart, moo milk, energy root, custard berry, whipped cream, shoal salt. Honey, tiny mushroom, sweetheart, lumen milk, custard berry, shell salt. Okay, that was a lot of the stuff that uh, I got, and a lot of the stuff that, uh. So now there's six a bomb mushroom, a slow poke tail, a white herb, a stick, energy roots, whipped dream. Um. Energy Root and Rip Tree, and I believe you can get those in the Obsidian Award. In fact, if I remember correctly, th there's this new area that has...
I... I don't understand. Why is this shop run by a Meganium? How does she manage business? How does she greet customers? Why is this a thing? I don't get it. But it's probably rude to ask, right? <laughs> Energy roots. Let's get a power herb. In case I have a Pokemon that can actually utilize Sky Attack. Alright. Bomb mushroom. I believe there's like an. I, that might be an. Ed, and that one um, adventure in island. I believe it was called. White herb. Got it. Stick. Energy root. Got it. Whip dream. Okay. Whip dream. You can get at that candy. That candy shop. Might as well knock it out, get those things. Whip Dream. So all I need is a stick, a slowpoke tail, and a bomb mushroom. the episode right here. I will see you guys in the next one.